When we calculated the inertia over the x-axis from the box beam, base height cube over 12. And we had 4, 6 cubed over 12, 72 inches to the fourth. Keep in mind it's the fourth. We have an inches cube times another inch. That gives us inches force. Make sure you box in your answer. So next beam type we're going to do is hollow. We're going to keep the same outside dimensions, but now we're going to have an empty middle. Thickness is going to be a half. Thickness is the half all the way around. I'm not changing it on you. Okay, so keep that in mind. The last thing is keep in mind that this is symmetrical around the Y and the X axis for the cross-sectional shape of the beam. So what we need to do now, as long as it's aligned on this axis, we can use them simple multiplicative and additive relationships. Meaning we can take the big one minus the little one to get what we want. So if we get this one minus this one, it gives us that shaded area. Okay, so we already know this is 72. We just need to figure out the dimensions of the smaller one. So six being the top minus a half and a half gives us our five, the same thing with this. Redoes our equation. So you have 72 minus your I in. Calculate that in and figure out what your units are. Second to last beam type is gonna be your I. We're gonna do the same thing we did before because the symmetrical or the axis runs right through it making it symmetrical on the X and Y. Okay, we're gonna com com continue the same dimensions as we did before in terms of the outside but now instead of taking one we're going to take two inside middles okay so that's i1 is minus the two little i2 so i since i say i1 minus two i2 can write it however you want all right so we got the big box now we're going to come back to determining the dimensions of this small one okay so we kick out what i2 is i2 is four okay minus a half divided by two. I put that in info code because then people a lot of times <clears throat> switch that up. Four minus a half gives you three and a half across both of them since you have two blocks. That's why it's divided by two. Six and one half 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 is the same thing that we did above. Okay, once you calculate that, figure out what the final answer is. Don't forget the units and box your answer.